Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang... <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Okay, so ang lesson nga natin ngayong araw mga kaibigan ano, is adding and subtracting similar rational algebraic expressions. So ano ba ibig sabihin niyan? Uh, we will now add and subtract um, rational expressions na magkamukha yung kanilang denominator or yung ilalim ng fraction. Diba in fraction we have numerator and denominator. Yung nasa ibabaw ang ating numerator at yung nasa ilalim ang ating denominator. Okay? So, today, uh, we will add and subtract rational expressions or fractions uh, with similar denominator. Na. So, paano ba yung rule nyan? Ang sabi dyan, in adding or subtracting similar rational expressions, add or subtract the numerators and write it in the numerator of the result over the common denominator. So, ibig sabihin lamang nung uh, phrase na yan, nung uh, uh, definition na yan, is, uh, ya, pagka daw magkamukha yung denominator nung dalawang fraction na i-add or isusubtract natin, you will just add, or you will just simply add or subtract yung kanyang numerator, and then kakapihin mo lang yung denominator. Okay? So, for example, Uh, let us have uh, a fraction given 1 half plus uh, 3 halves. Ayan, 1 half plus 3 halves. Na. So again, uh, simple instruction. Add mo daw yung kanyang numerator. So ano ba yung numerators nila? 1 and 3. Ano? So 1 plus 3, that is 4. And then copyin mo yung kanilang denominator. Since magkamukha yung kanilang denominator, you will just copy it na. And then, after adding or subtracting, dito nga sa ating first example, we add. So, uh, next step is to simplify our uh, result na. So, 4 over 2 can be simplified pa, no? Kasi alam natin na 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. Okay? So, that is how we add uh, a rational expression with common denominator. Another example, no? Let's have Subtraction naman. So, 10 over 13 minus 5 over 13. Yan. So, again, magkamukha yung kanilang denominator. So, kukapain lang natin yung denominator. Ano? And then, subtract mo yung numerator. So, 10 minus 5. That is equal to 5. And 5 over 13 cannot be simplified na. Ano? So, meaning, etong 5 over 13 ay yung ating final answer for this example. Uh, that is how we add and subtract a fraction with similar denominator. Alright, so ayun. Uh, these are simple fractions. No? So, let's have uh, an example with um, rational expressions or yung meron ng variable na. Uh, polynomials, uh, I mean. So, for example, number one. So, yung kanina, mga simple uh, example lang yun, ano? So, example number one. Let's say we have x squared plus, or minus, sorry. Minus 2x minus 7 all over x squared minus 9 plus 3x plus 1 all over x squared minus 9. 
So again, we have a rational expression and also rational expression with common denominators. No? So x squared minus 9 uh, yung ating denominator dito at ganun din naman dun sa kabila. Okay, so again, uh, simply add, kasi addition yan, so simply add our numerator and then copy the denominator. So paano? In the uh, numerator, so pag samasamayin lang natin, ano? so x squared minus 2x minus 7, so plus yun, so plus 3x plus 1, all over the denominator. Yan. So, ganun lang, ano? Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> Next step is to combine like terms dun sa ating numerator. So, x squared, no? So, walang uh, kamukha yung x squared. Copy lang natin yun. Meron tayong 2x dito and then meron tayong 3x dun, ano? So, meron silang common terms which is yung x nga. So, negative 2x plus 3x that is positive x. And then the constants, negative 7 plus 1, that is negative 6. All over the denominator, x squared minus 9. So again, uh, this is our uh, resulting uh, sum, no? But then, uh, again, alamin natin kung yan ba ay uh, simplified form na or that is, yan na ba yung ating final answer, ano? As we can see, uh, our numerator is still factorable and also our denominator is still factorable. Okay? So, ano bang uh, uh, factors ng ating numerator? Kasi, once na meron tayong expression na still factorable, meaning, uh, meron pang uh, possibility na meron tayong ma-cancel uh, out or pwede pa siyang ma-simplify. Okay? So, kung yan ay factorable pa, uh, hanapin mo yung uh, factors nila and then, uh, let's see, kung masisimplify pa siya. Okay? So, uh, that the numerator is a trinomial, ano? x squared plus x minus 6. So, to factor this out, yung uh, ating uh, trial and error, since wala naman tong uh, coefficient, no? So, x na x, uh, yung uh, ating unang terms doon. And then, um, factors ng negative 6, no? Kapag napag inad natin ang sagot ay positive 1. So, uh, by observation or by inspection, we can use positive 3 and negative 2. If we multiply positive 3 and negative 2, the answer is negative 6. And then if we add positive 3 and uh, negative 2, the answer is positive 1. So plus 3 and minus 2. All over, the, new, uh, the denominator is uh, binomial of squares na. So to factor this out, that is x plus 3 x minus 3. So, paano na kuha yan? Since, uh, ito naman ay per, uh, binomial of uh, perfect square, ano? Kunin mo lang ang square root ng x, uh, I mean, ng x squared, then square root ng 9. And then, isang plus, isang minus. So, kung uh, nakalimutan nyo na yung factoring, um, again, meron pa tayong, meron tayong videos, no? Mga nakaraang videos natin. terms in our numerator and denominator. So, we can cancel this out, no? So, x plus 3 in the denominator and also in the uh, numerator. So, meaning, the final answer will be yung ating simplified form is x minus 2 all over x minus 3. That is our final answer. So, that is for example number 1 addition, ano? Let us have example number 2 and uh, let us use or let us have uh, subtraction naman. So, pinakita lang natin ano, kung paano ba yung uh, proper way or yung step-by-step -step solution in uh, adding uh, rational expression with the, uh, with the same denominator. So, example number 2. Um, x squared minus, uh, sorry, plus... 5x minus 20 all over 3x squared plus x minus 2 minus negative 10 minus 6x minus 5x squared all over the same denominator plus x minus 2. 
So again, we have a rational expression with the same uh, denominator. Ano? So again, uh, the instruction is to subtract. So meaning, subtract natin yung numerators nila. Kapayin natin, no? x squared plus 5x minus 20 minus negative. So minus, then minus, so magiging plus, plus 10. And then minus, minus, magiging plus ulit. 6x Then minus, minus Magiging plus ulit 5x squared All over The denominator So kukupin lang natin ano kasi magkamuka lang sila 3x squared Plus x Minus 2 So next step is to Combine like terms sa ating numerator So x squared Plus 5x squared That is 6x squared then 5x plus 6x, that is 11x, ano? Then the constants, negative 20 plus 10, that is negative 10. All over the denominator, 3x squared plus x minus 2. So again, um, kailangan natin malaman kung ito ba ay uh, simplified form na, no? But uh, we can see that uh, the numerator and denominator is still factorable. So, meron tayong possibility na meron pa tong simplest form. Okay? So, anong factors nyan? Tingnan natin na. So, uh, by using different method of factoring, you can uh, find the factors of the numerator and the denominator. So, I think uh, you can do it na. No? So, Gamitin ko na lang yung kalgyo ko to factor this out. And then, kayo nang bahala sa sarili nyo. Uh, it, eh, practice nyo yung sarili nyo kung paano ba yung ma-factor out yung uh, ganitong klaseng trinomial. Okay? So, meron naman tayong video tutor tutorial, <laughs> tutorial nun. No, no? So, uh, i-browse nyo na lang sa ating channel. No? So, again, uh, ako na mag-factor out dito sa aking uh, kalgyo, no? Polynomial degree 2. So, 6, 11, and negative 10. So, the first factor for me na nakawa sa ating calculator ay 3x um, minus 2. Ayan. And then, um, the second factor is 2x plus 5. Ayan. So, again, um, uh, i-factor out nyo yan using our different methods, no? Kasi, uh, hindi ko na siya i-factor out kasi tatagal lang. Uh, you can do it your own naman. So, ginamit ko na lang yung calculo ko. So, 3, 1, and negative 2. So, again, uh, 3x minus 2 and um, x plus 1. Yan! So, these are the factors now. Ito ang factors ng ating numerator at ito ang factors ng ating denominator. So, as we can see again, we have a common term in the numerator and the denominator. So, cancel out lang yon. Meaning, the final answer ay yung naiwan. Ano? So, 2x plus 5 all over x plus 1. And that is, sabi ko nga, our final answer. So, ganun lang mga kaibigan. Ano? That is how we add and subtract rational expressions with a common denominator. Alright? So, hopefully, uh, meron kayong natutunan at nakapag-share tayo ng uh, panibagong kaalaman ng mga kaibigan. Uh, stay tuned sa ating susunod na video. We will add and subtract uh, rational expressions with different denominators. So, magkaiba naman yung denominator. Let's see how we add and subtract those kind of rational expressions. Okay? So, yun mga kaibigan. No? Good luck and uh, keep up the good work na.